This is George Paxton, interviewing Mr. High John Maynard Jr. All right, here we go, Mr. High Maynard Jr. Good morning to you. How you Wait doing, man? Hello. I just... Hi, what have you been doing since the last time we interviewed? Well, man, I just been taking it one day at a time, man. Getting out here and helping others, man. It's always good to be able to help others, you know. Yeah. So that's basically what I've been doing, man. Trying to give back to the community, man, and putting out good words and stuff like that for the world, you know? I hear you. You know, I can't save the world, but what I can do is do my part, man. Everything that you put into it, man, it helps to carry over to the next episode, you dig? I dig. How's the family and everybody? Well, man, everybody's doing fine, man. You know, it's the natural, you know, things that go on in life, man, but we can't do nothing about that, but get on our knees at night and pray about it, man. So all I like to do is put out positive feeds, man, and all the bad stuff, man. I get on my knees and I pray about it. You understand? Yeah. And see, I like to give people live good entertainment, man. That's what I do. You understand? Huh? Yeah. All right. Well, Well, man, hold on. Before I go any further, man, I need to pop one of my cigars, man. I had flown in. Would you like to have one, man? No. You know, you're more than welcome, man. All right, you know. Man, let me get you one for the road. Man. All right, all right. You I appreciate that, road, man. man. I sure will. You know, if you don't want to smoke it, you know, man, have it framed and put in a, 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 a frame or something, yeah. man. I'll, I'll put your name under the bottom of it. That's all right. We'll come back by and I'll sign it for you, man. Anything all I can right. do for you, you know, I'll be more than happy, man. Well, there. Yeah. You been uh, what 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 have you been doing since the last time we interviewed? Tell me something you done did and something besides a little riding and, and you know. Well, I, you know I've uh, actually uh, got out. And I did a little work for uh, the people just giving the auctions and stuff. Man, they raised money for benefits. So man, I just volunteered my truck, man. And, did all the driving for them, man. Took them way out there to the Round Rock, man, and picked up a lot of uh, different pieces of merchandise, man, that's gonna help them with the uh, the, uh, the auctioning for the hospital, man. Cause you know, I'm real close friends with one of the auctioneers. I won't put his name or nothing out there because he likes to stay, you know, unidentified. So oh, I won't put his name out there, but he's a real, uh, renowned uh, auctioneer nah, that they use around here, man. Nah, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's just a few things, man. I've been out, man, and I've done some, some tributes and stuff, man, and, you know, donated food and let people just come and eat, man. We don't make people's plates either, man. We buy plenty of food, man, and just let them come on and you put it on your plate, man. Nah, yeah, yeah. Only thing that I really ask when they do that. Don't put more on your plate than you're going to eat. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to waste the food. Otherwise, we could have shipped some of that food out to other people. You understand? Yeah, this is one of my smaller cigars, man. Usually I smoke the big chocolate ones, but these right here, they're more uh, for daily use and stuff, you know. Yeah, that last time we interviewed, you gave me a butt of a, a big one, and I kept that sucker about three years, I think, and now about three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. uh, I, I just wanted you to get a taste out of it, man, but I'll tell you what, man, I got a, a trip that I got planned, man. I'm going to take you with me, man. I'll get you a ticket. Matter of fact, this evening, I'll go ahead on and get another ticket. I'll take you out there. And what we'll do, man, I'll get you a couple of them things, man, maybe two or three. Oh. And uh, they'll last you for a good time if you know how to use them. Oh. Like, you know, put them back in the humor though and keep them fresh, you understand? Uh-huh. And uh, while we're there, man, I'll get you up on some of the Cuban coffee, man. It's a, it's a good taste to it, man, and I want you to experience that. I hear you, know? I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I heard you've been doing a little work on your yard. What's up in there on that? Well, what what I did, man, was I went out there and I bought some sod, man, and uh, I just did the perimeter of the yard, mm -hmm. and I put a couple patches inside here and there, man, waiting for it to spread because it's supposed to be some real good grass, and uh, the quality of it was top notch. Oh, That's yeah. another friend of mine I know, man. He keeps you know, patted some grass coming, and he gave me the best grade that they had at that time. And so it's coming along really good, man. I've been out there in it daily, I mornings and evenings, I man. I like to spend time out there in the yard and give you time to relax and use your yeah. mind in other, in other things. You know, I, 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 uh, I do a lot of meditating out there in the yard, man. That's well, what I do. I want to ask you something. <clears throat> they say, you know, like, talk to flowers and stuff. Do you talk to your grass? And, and do you think that would help it grow? Well, I believe it does, man. Well, I believe everything that we have out here has a personality, you know? Uh-huh. You talk to the grass, and I've been, I talk to my grass. I tell you how beautiful it is, man. And it's hate. really green and it's healthy. You know, uh, just like plants, man. You talk to your plants, you know, and uh, they, you know, if not, then they'll brown up on you. And I man. Hate it, I hate it. Yeah, that will go away on you. Anything will if you don't give it the attention and the love that it needs. All right. Yes, sir. I ain't got time. Mm. Well, I see you got a. A little stutzing over there, huh? You been riding horses, or you gonna ride horses? Oh, yeah. what? Well, you know, man, I'm I'm a, I'm a uh, jack of all trades and a master of most, man. I was born and raised in the city, man. I've been around a lot of city folks, and I've been with the best of them. I hear you. And uh, this here, man, this is a top-notch cowboy hat I have here, man, that I use when I go out to the country, man, because I'm... Got family in the country, man. I was raised up out there too, man. You know, riding ah, horses yeah. and ah, you know, yeah. uh, learning to live off the fat of the land, man. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's ah, why yeah. when the turn of the century come around 2000, you know, I wasn't really worried, man, because I could get out there and I could start out with nothing, no lights, no nothing, man, and make it off the fat of the land for me and my family. You understand? Yeah. That's why I got all the tools and equipment that I got. But yeah, man, okay. this is a hat that I got, man, and I, you know, I cherish it pretty good, man. But, uh, well, uh, that's what I, I want to invite you to my coon dinner. Since you know how to live off the fat of the land, I want to invite you to my coon dinner. Oh, come, man. Uh, no problem with that, man. I'll come. And, uh, <laughs> to the festivity that you're gonna have, man. Just let me know, give me a, maybe 24 hours of advance is all I'm gonna need. But I will bring something else to go with what you got going, man. I, I want like you to, to cook my coon. Huh? I want you to cook my coon. Oh, I can cook it for you, man. I hear you. I surely can, man. I got a nice pit, man, that, that uh, had that thing cooked up for you know it, man. Just make sure you marinate it, right? And marinate it good. I just, I think it's wild meat, you understand? Yeah. Well, you know how you like your taste, and we're going to cook it to your taste. Well, you don't have to worry about cooking it to my taste. Cook it to your taste, man, because you'll probably eat your meat, and I'll eat some meat that I got going on, because I really don't eat coon no more. You know okay. I'm I switched over, man. I, I'm on a very strict diet. Oh, man, okay. Man, All right. That I eat. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Okay. Okay. But so, I know some people who might indulge in it with you. I hear you. I was just asking. But you will cook it for me, huh? Oh, definitely, man. I have no problem contributing. Nah, I'm going to do it myself. So tell me, uh -huh. how are you cars and stuff doing? Oh man, everything is fine, man. Uh, I have no problems with them, man. And you know, I drive them accordingly, man. You know, I don't turn corners fast. 
I take my time, man. You know, ain't no in rush to get nowhere. You understand? I, I wasn't in a rush to get the first ticket I got. You understand that, don't you? Yeah, so everything is fine. You know, I'm going to take them in to the clinic here pretty soon and have all the water and stuff like that changed and check the tire pressure. And then once I get all that done and then the weather clears up again, I'm going to take them on out there to one of them places and let them shine it up for me, man, and get it ready for the highway. We can ride out somewhere. I hear you. I yeah. Hear you. Yeah, I hit the highway in a heart in a New York minute, man. I think that gas is fit to go down a little bit. Well, yeah, that can always do good, man, for everybody. You yeah. know, gas prices is high, man, and people is having hard times out there. Yeah. So, uh, whatever prices and saving that we can do uh, as far as the economy, man, I'm all with it, man, because yeah. I'm for the people, man. I hear you. For the people, by the people. That gas go down, to be a little t more traveling and stuff. Be a lot more traveling, yeah. man. Right now, people are using their hard-earned money just to keep entertainment for their kids and children and stuff because they want them to go and see things, man, so they bend over backwards. That's why I like to commend a lot of the mothers and the fathers who are getting out there bending over backwards and doing the extra things in order to make make um, ends meet for their family and their household, man. Yeah. I Wow, man, I like the setup you got going on today for this interview, man. And Al Green right there, it really takes me back, man. He's a bad man. Yeah, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, I like to give you a little credit, too, man. You're, you're a really good uh, uh, host, man. Uh, I like the way you go about your interviews, man, and the, uh, the way you uh, introduce people, man. You see people family, man. You're not biased. You know, you, you, you interview very well, man. I, I believe really and truly that you're the best thing since Howard Cosell, man. <laughs> well, thank you, John, but uh, I ain't that good, John. I just sit around here and I know, you know. Oh, man, I can say don't knock yourself, man. You really that good, I ain't knocking good, myself. Man. I ain't knocking myself. Yeah. Shit, no. You see, I put that, uh, uh, music in the background with the Al Green because I knew that that was one of your favorites, man. I wanted to do I something for right. you too, man. That's why I give you the cigar and put that music that you love, man. I know you come up on it, man. I've heard right. you sing a couple of his lyrics from time to time. Oh, so yeah. I, you know, I'm aware of things. Yes, I am. I hear you. What? What is it? I want to ask you, when the last time you been fishing? Well, it's been a minute, man, because I've had a lot of projects going on around the house. And so uh, I have hired a couple of people to come in and do some things for me, hauling off stuff that I didn't want and you know, planting the grass and then staying on top of it and fertilizing and, and everything. And then I even had a little work done to the house as far as being painted and stuff. You know, I painted it in a uh, Dallas Cowboy blue trimmed in white with the gray roof, you know, because I'm a cowboy fan. Been you are, there. you are. Yes, I am, man. And so that's the reason why I hadn't been fishing, but all of my equipment and everything is organized and ready to go in a moment's oh, time. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as these storms pass over, man, we're going to try to get back out there on the water, man, I and see what we can pull up out of there. That's what's up. All righty, all righty. I hear you. Well, holler at me about something. Tell me something you've been doing. I mean, besides work, you know. I mean, you well, need for enjoyment. Well, I, I have a good time, man. I have a good time every day, man. I wake up with a smile on my face. I always go to, uh, you know, I got a little lounge, what I call 
prime time. It's mm. MB's prime time, man, for fun and enjoyment. Mm. And so I have functions and stuff here and there, man. And so I get a couple rounds of pool in on a daily basis. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, got to get out there and drink a couple of beers, you know, and it's a full bar out there. I'm having a 